Welcome to the 2024 University of Arizona Sports Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Each year we have a chance to honor great Wildcats and tonight is certainly no exception. Man, God is good. It means a lot. There's a lot of hard work and dedication that gets put in. So to get that notoriety after seeing so many like me um, before, um, it's awesome. I mean, I'm very, very humbled. This means everything for me. You know, it means all the accomplishment that I did in the uh, University of Arizona. It means, you know, thanking all people who were part of my journey. People have been blowing up my phone ever since saying, you know, that's kind of a big deal. I'm like, uh, kind of? No, it's a very big deal. I'm speechless when people ask me, how's it feel? This 2024 class, they have 25 All-America selections, 12 NCAA National Championships, double-digit All-Conference, All-America, and numerous other honors. You know, every year I say it's historic, but it truly is tonight. You know, we have uh, a team physician who's the very first African-American to ever be a team physician at a Division I institution. We have, you know, NBA players. We have national champions in track. It just means so much to me. I became a teacher and coach later in my, after I got done playing professional baseball and the stuff that I learned at U of A, I just carried on. I didn't realize how far ahead I was compared to other NBA players in terms of the knowledge of the game of basketball that I had. And uh, I give all that, you know, that success, I give all that credit to Coach O and Jim Rosborough and uh, Coach Merck. Well, U of A and Arizona basketball, the city of Tucson, it's all about family and the support they've given me throughout my career, not only while I was a Wildcat, but even after, once I went to the NBA and played as many years as I did, they were always support. So many things that I do now, I can look back to my time at Arizona and shape me into the woman that I am and, you know, pave the way to the life that I live now.